Hello, welcome to Rando Tech Info. Today we're talking about the Oppo Reno 7 Pro 5G and whether or not it will work on your US carrier's network. The first thing you need to know is that the frequency bands used by the Reno 7 Pro and the base model Reno 7 are basically the same. So when it comes to carrier hardware compatibility, anything I say about the Pro will apply to both models. The Reno 7 Pro is a slick looking phone. It's thin, it's light, and it has an LCD indicator that surrounds the camera module that in addition to looking cool, can also be used to let you know when you have unread notifications. It has a 6.5 inch AMOLED display with a 90 Hz refresh rate, a 50 megapixel primary camera, and crazy fast 65 watt SuperVoop charging that is supposed to be able to fully charge your phone in just over a half hour. And oh by the way, the charger comes in the box. Looking at you, Apple and Samsung. And you get all of this for around 40,000 rupees, which comes out to around 528 US dollars. And the reason the price has to be converted into USD is because this phone is not going to be sold here in the US. Not officially anyway. You can surprisingly pick up the phone off the Zon for around 800 bucks, which is obviously a lot more expensive than the original asking price. It's also worth mentioning that the frequency bands the Amazon seller claims the phone can utilize are different than the bands Oppo claims the phone can utilize, so I'm not really sure this is a good way to pick up this phone. On an up note, the seller does claim the phone comes with a 12-month warranty, which is unusual for a third-party seller. Now, I'm not telling you you can or can't trust this seller, I'm just passing along information. And speaking of information, if you like getting this type of information from your YouTube channels, you might want to consider subbing to this channel. That's a great idea! <laughs> Sadly, the next thing we need to talk about is the war US carriers have seemingly waged on imported and non-certified devices. More and more people are leaving comments in the videos on this channel about their carrier pulling service from their imported phones. Their phone will be working fine and then out of nowhere, the phone will lose service, usually accompanied by a text or a call from the carrier telling them that their phone will no longer work on their carrier's network. This has happened to a lot of people with a lot of different devices across all three major network carriers. And since smaller and prepaid network providers such as Mint Mobile, Cricket, and Boost are either owned by or use the major carrier's networks, you're most probably going to run into these problems with them as well. Even if a phone is sold here, there's a good chance it won't work on your carrier's network anymore if it isn't certified or on that carrier's list of approved devices. So predictably, this is bad news for the Reno 7 Pro. Since the Reno 7 isn't officially sold here, it will not be certified or approved to work on any US carrier network, so it's possible you won't even be able to get the phone activated. And even if you do get the phone activated, access to your carrier's network could be limited by both the carrier's own restrictions, as well as the carrier's frequency bands, the phone's modem, and antennas are able to utilize. Verizon almost never lets uncertified phones on its network, and even if you do get the phone activated, you won't get to take advantage of any of Verizon's newly acquired C-band 5G because this isn't an approved Verizon C-band device. Millimeter wave 5G is also not supported and only one band of sub-6 5G is supported. The phone uses some of Verizon's 4G bands, but it doesn't support their biggest band, band 13, so 4G coverage would probably also not be great. AT&T has never let uncertified devices on its 5G network, and a lot of people are reporting that AT&T is kicking a bunch of uncertified phones entirely off its network when they shut down their 3G network on the 22nd of February. If you do get the phone activated on AT&T and it survives the 3G shutdown, you might get some decent 4G coverage as many of AT&T's 4G frequency bands are supported, including their primary frequency bands. As for T-Mobile, this year they have started pulling support for phones that don't make use of their voice over LTE, and it doesn't look like the Reno 7 will support this feature. I was actually able to do an IMEI check on T-Mobile's website with a Reno 6 Pro, and it came up being incompatible on their network, so I'm assuming the story will be the same with the 7 Pro. If by some miracle you do get the phone activated on T-Mobile and it works with their network, you won't be getting any sub-6 or millimeter wave 5G, however, you should be able to pick up some of their mid-band 5G signal. As for 4G, all the major frequency bands are supported, so once again, if you can get the phone activated, you might get some decent 4G coverage. Well, that's all the information I have for today. If you do wind up picking up this phone, please feel free to come back here and let us know down in the comments how well the phone is working for you so we can all learn from each other and make more informed buying decisions. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.